It's Scotch Test Dummies, and uh, I'm here with Scott. I'm Scott. I'm Bart. Not here, Scott's mom. Yeah, Scott's mom is not here, although she's awesome. We're going to be talking about Orangerie from Compass Box. It smells like barbecue in here. Yeah, it does. That's my buddy Pete, mm. which is not in here. We're talking. About, we're, we're making a reference to our uh, past Pete Monster video. Orangerie, Scott, has tons of stuff thrown in it. So much stuff other than the uh, orange, as you can kind of tell from the coloring. What else is in there? Well, they put um, it in? first of all, a compass box. Compass box, blended scotch. Blended malt. Uh, is this a blended malt? I think they are. Are they? Um, I've seen this at the local liquor store for a while. Finally figured I'd pick it up. We could try it out. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of neat labeling. Uh, the bottle is a uh, dark, dark color. You can't even hardly see what's in it. Um, on the bottle, which is different from the box, it says Scotch whiskey infused with orange zest, cassia, and clove. So, this is a first. We have not had it. Apparently, um, All supposedly, it does have some orange uh, flavor to it. We haven't tried it. It'll be a, a first tasting, a surprise to us from the Compass Box Whiskey website. They say that... Orangery is made from smooth, sweet scotch whiskey infused with the hand-zested peel of Navalino oranges and subtle accents of Indonesia cassia bark and Sri Lankan cloves. Hmm. So, how they do that, I don't know. Um, hand-zested peel of oranges um, is, is just the peel. They're not using the juice, uh, much like a lemon zest or uh, right. something in a dessert. Um, I don't know if they've taken shavings of the peel and let it sit in the cask or what. That would be up to Compass Box to reveal that to us. So very unique. Com what Compass Box is doing is fresh and unique. Um, one of the reasons I like it. Uh, I was won over by their Pete Monster. I love their King Street as a... Uh, that's a nice daily scotch. And the Oak Cross, I have had that in the past. Very delicious for a blend. Very surprised by it. Um, I've been very surprised mm, wow. with what... The nose is... Oh, yes. Wow. Definitely it's... orange. Wow. Yeah, it's got an explosion it's... of orange. Hmm. Hmm. With a hint, I can just pick up a hint of that kind of a scotchy... Wow. I don't, I don't smell anything. It smells like someone's peeling an orange. No, you, I just get a hint of like a citrus scotch. Yeah. Wow, that definitely. is pleasant. Hmm. That is extremely unique. Let's see what this does. Hmm. Wow, a new breakfast drink. Yeah, it... it that it, is... Orange flavored scotch. Mm -hmm. It carries that orange smell that we got right off. Uh, but not sweet. It's not, not like it's not like a liqueur. It's, it's just a scotch with a hint. Even of, as I'm drinking it, it feels like I'm tasting the smell. Does yeah. That, I uh -huh. mean, so I don't feel like I'm drinking orange juice. I feel like I'm simply tasting the smell of an orange. Mm hmm. So we have orangery for breakfast, <laughs> peat monster, and the barbecue for lunch, mm -hmm. and dinner. I would maybe a sale follow up with a nice oak cross. oak cross, maybe. Now let's see what else is in here. I'm getting I get some peppery, a little bit of the bit scotch of spice. peppery right after the orange slightly fades, um, and I get a sweetness in my aftertaste, almost. Mm. Uh, I don't want to say a caramel sweetness, but... I bet you Scott's mom would pick up mm. the orange, even. <laughs> the subtle hints of mm -hmm. the orange. That's not subtle. Wow. That is a surprise. Hmm. It's got, it's got kind of a standard citrus aftertaste to it, mm -hmm. which Scott's a big fan of the citrus. Yep. What are the... Uh, can you look? What are the single malts they blended into this? They don't say... No. Okay. I thought they were, did they say which distilleries um, it's coming from? No, describing, it says, to make orangery, we begin with great whiskey. We use a soft, sweet blend of Highland single malt and single grain whiskey from Fife. 
Huh. Secondly, we use only the freshest, highest quality oranges and top class aromatic spices. Wow. Importantly, we zest the fruit by hand and use only fresh zest in our infusion. Only the hand zested peel of really fresh mm. Navalino oranges gives you the lively, vibrant flavors that are the hallmark of orangery. Wow. I mean, that's... It's, it's unexpected and then quite pleasant. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm. Good. Delicious. Did you want to talk about my wildebeest hair or anything? No, we already did that. <laughs> We've already done that. Disgusting. Oh, it's just normal. I will say as I age, it's getting worse. <laughs> but that's the problem. It leaves the head and joins the rest of the body. I don't get <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. I don't get it. Wow, this is pleasant. Oh, we'll let you guys go. It's uh, Bart and Scott. Scotch Test Dummies. All right. Salonja. Dummy. Dummies. <laughs> See you guys.